Okay, so we're recording already. So hello guys, good morning, good day. So whatever time you're um, watching this video lecture, so I'm glad that you are here. And so this video is our first video for HIS and it is for module one. So guys, so um, this video is a reinforcement of what you can read in your module one. So it's better that you are watching the video lectures because I will break it down to you. So I will make the topic more, um, uh, more understandable, easier for you to grasp. And, and, and I'm going to give more examples. So guys, if I didn't mention a couple of things in the um in the like um this video lecture you can al always just read your modules ha? okay so let's start na ba? so let's start so module one is overview on health information system so guys what do you think of when you Listen when you have when you heard this word health information system. Nagulat ba kayo that suddenly you have a subject like this? Then health information system. Do you um think about computers only? Do you think about softwares? So that's what we're going to discuss for today. So our goal for the time being is number one recognize the importance of health information system number two demonstrate appreciation for health information systems so class health information systems we will discuss this for the next 15 weeks class 15 weeks tayo mag-aaral ng health information system so here our purpose is i want you to appreciate health information system. I want you to love health information system. I want you to know the value of health information system. Why? Because, di ba, mahirap, mahirap gawin ang isang bagay na hindi mo mahal gawin, di ba? Mahirap mag-aral ng isang bagay na hindi masaya or you don't find the relevance. Two, so hopefully, it's ma appreciate nyo ang health information system through this module one. And number three, biglang mag aaral tayo ng mission, vision, objectives. Yeah. Mission, vision, objective statement statements. Because these statements are very important in every organization. Mapa anong, mapa anong sector pa man yan. Yan, health sector specifically. So let's start. So guys, um, now, we are in a post-industrial society. So, when we say post-industrial society, sociologists say, you know, we're sociologists tayo, that um, now, I, back then, guys, manufacturing was the source of, of wealth of economies. Mga manufacturing, industry, ito sa first and second revolution. Steam power, water power, mass production, mga factory workers, class, they are the one who produces wealth in the first and second revolution. But now, guys, we are on the fourth revolution, which are cyber physical systems. So, class, we have automations, we have computers, and now, the thing that produces wealth in our economy economy is the service sector. So class, you are in the correct um, profession. So yung mga nagbibigay servisyo, like health professionals, class, yung mga HRM natin, mga kaibigan natin, mga uh, retailers, class. So they are the one which produces wealth. And the one, the industry that helps us to deliver these ones, itong mga services na to, are our cyber physical systems. Yeah. So, I just want you to know that uh, I think it's common knowledge that um, computers right now, automation is a very important part of our world right now. And so, class, I just want to add that the world's now, the world's most valuable resource, sabi niya, is no longer oil but data. Yeah, powerful, no? The world's most valuable resource is no longer oil but data class we thought that 
using Facebook, using TikTok, Instagram, and all of these ones are free, diba? First, they are free. But what we pay for in those in those platforms class are our names, are our personal information. So have you noticed class na ko ko collect na lang personal information nyo? And I think you know this that they have created algorithms that allows them to market to our, to their people easily. So example, kanya de ako nagsearch lang ako ng Um, Adidas, kanyan, sa Google. Kanyan. Tapos biglang sa FB, they are now selling me Adidas shoes. Diba? Me and my friend, we're just talking about um, credit cards or banks. Biglang, nag, biglang bombarded na ako ng advertisements about banks. Ganun. So, class, so they have So, these companies like Google, Facebook, they have weaponized the collection of so much data for them to market to us more. Ganyan. To push their, um, to push their organization, to make them, to make their organization, company wealthier. Yan. So, class, many industries, class, weaponizes or utilizes data for their own, um, for their own agenda. Kasi maraming ganun. Huwag na nating mahabang kwento yung mga ganyan, how they use data. So, class, so data is not a bad thing. Actually, it's a good thing, especially in the health sector. And data can be converted, class, to information. So, dito na pumapasok ang information systems. This information systems class converts data to information so that it can be easily understandable and it can be used class. It can use for the good or for the bad. Yeah. So, simula na natin. So, health information system class are a set of components and procedures organized with the objective of generating information. So, plus when we say health information systems, tama. Pwede siyang software, yan. Pero hindi lang talaga itong mga software, hindi lang talaga itong mga computers. But also, it involves people. Yan. Components and procedures that people can do, machines can do, with the objective of generating information which will improve healthcare management decisions at all levels of the health system according to Lipofeld 2000. So ma'am, what, what does that mean? Mga um, studyante ko, sa medaling salita class, health informations are so valuable because it produces valuable information for our health professionals to decide better on our health outcomes. Yan. So, class, gone are the days wherein we decide about something, nagde-decide tayo sa isang bagay na based lang sa intuition, diba? we decide based on gut feeling or emotion, gone are those days, class. So, the best way now to decide, class, hindi lang sa healthcare sector, sa love life, Um, sa career, diba? how you go on to your day. Plus, it's better to decide, mas maganda yung outcomes if your decision is based on data. So, here in this slide, you can see data-driven decision-making will produce better health outcomes. So, class, para magkaroon ng healthier um, society, healthier people, if the doctors, if our Secretary Duque, our DOH um, Secretary, if Duterte will base their decision-making on data and on statistics, it will produce health outcomes. And what is the means to help us make a better decision yan, is through health information system. So, health information system is our tool class. So, pag ang mga health professional marunong gumamit ng health information system, marunong siyang gumamit, at binabasa niya yung report. So, based sa report ng health information system, doon siya nagdadepend. E di mas maganda yung health outcomes. Magde-decide siya ng base sa information. Kunyari, 
nalaman niya. O oh, sa Baguio, tumataas na ang cases ng COVID-19. Yan. So, based on the information, tumataas na ang, ang, ang cases ng COVID-19. What else can we do? How about increase, deploy more contact tracers? Yan. How, about, how about tighten the borders? And so, based on that information, um, our mayor can decide better for better health outcomes. Yan. Hindi ba? Nyo ba? So, class, this is the gist of health information system. It improves the decision-making at all levels. Ma'am, ano yung mga level? So, mamaya, I'll show you the different levels. So, ganun. Hindi ba? Nyo ba? Okay. So, health information systems are our tools that guide us to better decide for the um, health outcomes of our patients, of the population, ganyan. Yeah. So, class, one of the uh, most used right now, most used um, tracker or health information, health information right now, ito. So, how I not visit doh.gov.ph COVID-19 tracker? So, itong class, itong mga information from the COVID-19 tracker came from a health information system. So, this. So, it shows how many are the cases of COVID-19. So, I got this screenshot from August 22. So, two days ago. So, two days ago, there were 187,000 of COVID-19 cases. No? Ang rami class, no? Active cases, so 69,000. Recovered, 114,000. And died, naku, 2,000 glass. So, what do you think? Is this information valuable? Mahalaga ba to? Diba? What, what, what can, how can we use this information so that, ano, we can mitigate the people who are dying? So, class, ganito kahalaga ang health information system. Um, na-appreciate nyo na ba? Na-appreciate nyo na ba? Um, class, sorry kung nakatingin ako sa taas. Andito kasi kayo, ito yung camera ko. So, hello. I, I keep forgetting to look down. Yan. So, class, what are the functions of your health information system? So, number one, it collects data. Um, it collects, dapat, syempre, ang... Dapat ang data na i-collect niya, tama ah, it collects quality data from health sector and other relevant sectors. Class, we have this um, saying, garbage in, garbage out. So, sa health information system, kung nag-input ka ng basura, ang lalabas class ay ginto, basura rin. So, it is, val it is important so that so, so, first step na ang magkakulit ka ng data. So, napakahalaga na ang ikokulit ng mong data ay tama. So, that's one of the function of your health information system. Number two, analyze the data. It analyzes the data. It organizes the data. Ganyan. So, imagine nyo how many data, how much big data is, is collected by a health facility. Isang hospital pa lang. Example class is Baguio General Hospital. That's only one hospital. And it generates class um, millions of bytes. Millions and millions of bytes um, of data. So class, it's very difficult for health professionals to Organize the data manually. So, class, kung naglalagbok-lagbok pa tayo, para hanapin yung data, yung mga health records, kung lahat is um, nasa paper pa, di ba? It's very difficult for it to be organized. So, it's very important that we have a health information system so that we can easily organize all this data. Di ba? Next, number three, ensure quality. So, Hopefully, the health information system has, um, uh, it checks errors, ganyan. So, if you've, you've placed a wrong data, hopefully it corrects it, ganon, may mga ganon. So, ganyan, ensure quality. So, yung health information, it ensures quality, make sure that the data, make sure that the data is correct, relevant, and timely. Plus, I like the word timely. 
because if you have collected the COVID-19 cases um, late class, hindi ko malat na itong itong pasyenteng to, di ba? Hindi siya na-track agad, di ba? If your information is not timely, eh di mas marami na siyang nahawaan, di ba? So, nung nagsimula tayo ng uh, COVID-19, so I heard this, si man ba to? Na naki-festival pa dito, punt- nag-vacation dito, now, di ba? So, ang rami na yung nahawaan na tao. Ngayon. And number four is convert. It converts the data into information for decision makers. Um, class, um, isipin nyo na lang na um, look at our Senate. Isn't it that in our Senate class, not all are um, health professionals, tama? So, um, our data, kung kunyari, is nasa complicated um, science medical term siya, hindi, pwedeng hindi siya maintindihan ng mga um, decision maker, makers natin, like our um, mga senador natin. So, what they do is make it into a report which is easier to understand so that to allow our Senate, our President, to decide better on our health. And on. Plus, no? Napakahalaga ng health information system. Nakikets nyo na ba? Yan. At some point, nakikita nyo na ba yung value ng health information system? Plus, um, this is um, sobrang... This, Basta, kakonek ko na lang sa kunyari, class, um, in, in deciding in your relationships. Yan. So, itong si girl na to, itong or guy na to, so, naliligaw siya or vice versa, ganyan. And, naisip mo, parang girlfriend or boyfriend material ba to? Yan. So, class, um, ang suggest ko sa inyo, gone are the days na ang magbe-base lang tayo ay sa emotions, sa chemistry, ganyan. Why not, di ba, make a data-driven decision? Ganyan. How about check kung may mga red flag siya, di ba? Kunyari, i-check mo kung ano, ano bang pa classmate mo. Baka ever since yung nasa classroom kayo, laging late, ganyan. Hindi gumagawa ng requirements or hindi nire-respeto yung mga authorities, di ba? They, that person do not respect authorities. How would they respect you, di ba? So, class, so to make a healthier decision when it comes to your life, to your relationship, make it's better that it is data-driven. Ganun, class, di ba? So, example, dito sa pag-aaral natin, di ba? So far, alam mo na na medyo mahina pa sa mga ganitong aspects, di ba? So, why not find other strengths of yours? So, make it data-driven, di ba? Love it. Yan. So, class, ito, paano pa rin natin pa... Let's emphasize more how health information system supports decision making at all levels. Class, di ba, sa health sector or sa kahit anumang organization, may levels yan, may hierarchy yan. So, in the health sector, so we start with the patient or client management level. So, when a patient comes into the hospital, who decides for the patient? Class. Sino ang nagde-decide? Punta siyang hospital. Isn't it? It's the doctor. Diba? So, for the doctor to diagnose this patient well, we need to gather relevant information or data. So, what, ano mga tinatanong sa inyo, class? Pag pumapasok kayo ng ER or magpapacheck up, Diba? Una, yung mga age nyo, yung mga def- demographic, your name, your age, your address, ganyan, contact number. Class, what else they, do they ask you? Diba? Your family history. Diba? What are your signs and symptoms? Yeah. They will check your vital statistic, your temperature, your pulse rate. Diba? They will get ano, is stethoscope ka. So, ganon. So, the doctor will collect the relevant data and will produce an information. And that information is in his mind will uh, 
he will decide. So based on the collected data, he will decide. So how, what is your disease and the like. Ganon. So yun yung pinakamababang level of decision making. At doon nakakatun, ma'am, anong connection ng health information system doon? So the doctor can use a uh, computer to do that. Ganyan. Siyempre, hindi lang naman ikaw yung pasyente niya. Diba? Perhaps you have, this is your regular doctor. So the doctor can can take out your name in the system and you know read um, your history. Next, health unit management level. So in the health unit management level, nasa ano na tayo? Hospital level or health facilities level. So class sa hospital. So sino ba ang mga hire sa mga doctor? So perhaps their department head. Yeah. Perhaps their hospital administrators. So for these hospital administrators, these hospital directors to decide better on the health unit, yeah. so they should collect all the informations from the different departments of the hospital. Plus, naiintindihan nyo ba? So, mas mataas na level naman to. So, hospitals lang ba ang health facilities natin? Maroon na tayong health centers. Class, imagine nyo, sa, dito sa Baguio, we have 113 barangays, I think, at ilan ang health center ng ng Baguio. So, ang raming health centers na. So, if you want to to collect the information, yan, para better mag-decide yung mga health leaders natin. So, they need to compile, organize all this information. And um, one way to organize this information is using RHIS, Routine Health Information Systems, or CHITS, CHITS, Community Health Information CHITS Technology System ata. Ganyan, CHITS. Anyway, I think we can read it in our modules. So, these information systems are used in the community level kasi nasa community ang mga health center eh. So, we can read CHITS if you want to know the different um, health status of the communities as a whole. Ayan. And class next, system management level. Yan. So, ito na, ang mga, and, andito na, ito nga yung mga legislative leaders natin, yung presidente natin, mga district managers, regional managers class. So, they, sila, nakaka-receive sila ng maraming report coming from the health facilities and they collate it. They organize it in such a way that they're going to give the report to their boss, and their boss will be the one who will decide. Ganyan. So they will decide on the different health programs. They will decide on how to act in this COVID nineteen. Then on, guys. So okay, ba na hindi ba? Yeah. So, um, I'll give you an overview of the different subsystems within health information system. So, um, class, sa notes nyo, so, example, sa health unit management, dito muna tayo, a health unit management level. So, they monitor your health services, management of resources, and so, class, ang, ang raming minaman sa mga health facilities. So, Okay pa ba yung supply natin ng mga hypertensive drugs? Okay pa ba yung supply natin ng mga flu vaccines? Planning program interventions, annual planning. So, they will plan what's their health programs for the year. They, they, sir, um, they, they check what are the um, emerging diseases in their community. Baka na, sa health unit yun na ah, baka tumataas na pala ang mga kaso ng dengue sa barangay nila. And at dito na sa pinakamataas, system management level. So, capacity building. So, they want to enhance the, uh, the other health facilities for research, policy and strategy decisions, health program planning and management. So, napakalaga class ng health information system. And class, these are the subsystems within health information system. So let me just give you an overview. Andi na lang class, andi na lang. So preventive health information systems. So this is a type of information systems wherein it collect um from health programs. Ano ba mga health programs that 
are for preventive health. Example, vaccination programs, um, like Zumba, physical activity programs, ganyan, um, um, smoking cessation programs. Ganyan. Number two, hospital information and medical record system class. Ang raming information system sa loob ng hospital. Sobrang rami nilang minamanage. Diba? From the patients to their drugs in the pharmacy, in their laboratory, in the billing class, yung pera. Yeah. They have information systems with field help, which is sobrang ma-issue. Class side note, diba? isa sa mga allegations sa field help is they're buying very in in very expensive information systems. Mahal talaga ang information systems class, pero overpriced naman yung talaga na yung saan nila. So, sana may sana may mahuli. May makulong. Number three. Sorry. Number three. Disease surveillance systems. Ito class. They monitor your disease outbreaks, epidemic, class right now, we're on a pandemic. So, the surveillance systems are very important. It monitors malaria, TB, class. Ang ganong sakit na kumon dito. Para, parasitic diseases. Dengue. Number four. Yan. Population or community-based health information. So, yung exact example yung sinabi ko, yung cheats. Yan. RHIS. There are videos class in your module. So, if you have time, panoorin nyo naman. Marami kayong matututudan. Promise. So, collects data from public health programs. Ma'am, anong public health programs to? So, yung nasa module nyo, like maternal health program, taking care of pregnant women, um, nutrition programs. Ang marami class. Ano pa? Um... Anyway, uh, lang may na. Next, number five, geographic information systems. Ma'am, anong connection itong geographic sa healthcare? So, um, this is very valuable if you want to assess um, what are the health needs of each province, class, or what are the diseases that commonly plagues this, this, um, this, um, places. Example, class, um, here in the Cordilleras, um, we have very high cases of goiter. Ganyan. So, goiter, yung lumalaki, yung thyroid gland. At some point, nag-goiter rin ako, guys. So, what else? Sa lowlands, ganyan. Um, may mga places that they are on the only places, kunyari, kung saan maraming nag-aabaka. Yan, common sa kanila ang mga filariasis, mga ganung klas, sakit. So, um, this geographic information systems create maps. Yan. And create maps. So, it shows also, kunyari, saan ba ang may mga PCR testing laboratory, sa Baguio class, dalawa lang. So, perhaps, dagdagan pa natin, ganun. Maganda. Maganda rin yung geographic information system. Saan ba ang places kung saan mataas ang malaria? Saan ba ang places kung mataas ang amibiasis? Ganun. And finally, class number six, vital registration system. Ayan. Tanong ko nga sa inyo, class, sa ang office ng pamahalaan kumukuha ng birth certificate? Ayan. So, kung... Kung di nyo alam, i-research nyo ha. Saan ba? Tanong nyo sa mga magulang nyo. So, class, dun sa kung saan tayo office na kumukuha ng um, birth certificate, death certificate, marriage certificate, class, they have this vital registration system. So, they are the one who collects data on the deaths, number of deaths, the births of the population. Galing, no? So, practice question. Wow, may para practice question tayo. So, for HIV patients, so we have this HIV patients. So, HIV patient class, one effective way of managing their, their disease is antiretroviral therapy. Class, so that HIV will not worsen and turn into AIDS. Yan. So, class, actually, pag nag antiretroviral therapy ka, at some point, you can be HIV negative. So, kung sobrang baba na yung viral load mo ng um, HIV. 
So, some HIV patients are lost to follow up. So, yung iba, hindi na sila nag-follow up. Which systems report will help you identify when they last filled their prescriptions? Alam ko, class, A, B, C, D, and E. Hindi ko pa, hindi ko pa na-record lahat. Ay, hindi ko pa na-discuss. Pero based on their names, ano kayang system ang, ang, ang gagamitin natin so that we will know um, there will help you identify when they when they when did they had their prescription of antiretroviral therapy ano kayang ano kayang system letter a choose all that apply so pwedeng one two or more three or more or none at all so electric medical record system ba Electro electronic billing system electronic pharmacy dispensing system, electronic logistics management system, or electronic laboratory information system. Yan. Saan ba tayo kukuha ng antiretroviral therapy prescription? Yan. So, ano mas ang sapit nyo, class? Yan. So, class ang sagot, either letter, both letter A and letter C. Yan. So, letter A, so, um, most probably, they will, um, they have a record of your last visit, and, and what did they do in their, on your last visit. And letter C, the pharmacy, yan, they will also record, yan, when the last, when did the last, when was the last time that you, um, you acquired your antiretroviral therapy. So, letter A and letter C. In the letter B, billing system, kasi that's all about your hospital payments. Yan. Mula silang alam doon kung sa prescriptions. Letter D, electronic logistics management system. So, most probably, they are the one who manages the different materials, the different um actions or procedures that they do in the hospital. So, ganun. And letter E, laboratory. And so, laboratory has no um, business about descriptions. Okay. So, challenges of the health information system in the Philippines. So, class, ayun. Sabi ko nga, di ba kanina, garbage in, garbage out. Sometimes, they collect poor data quality. The quality of date of their data is poor, ganun, hindi kulang-kulang. Delayed access to timely, reliable, and accurate complete information. So, class, ganun yung mga problema. So, ibig sabihin, garbage in, garbage out. Ba? Next, contrasting systems that use differing formats. So, some, so, there is no har harmony. Diba? With the information systems that they use, iba-iba. So, ang hirap i-collate, i-organize together. So, kunyari, information system from the hospital, magkaiba yung information ng hospital sa DOH, magkaiba yung sa population. So, ang hirap i-organize into one. Kanya. Kasi kanya-kanya nga naman talaga sila nang bilhin ng information system. So, yun yung mahirap. And what else? Third one, poor recording and processing. So sometimes the one who collects the data or records the data is not trained enough. Ganyan. Tapos, ipapasya sa higher level. Hindi rin trained itong makakareceive ng information na to. So, di ba, ang, ang information na maproproduce nun is unreliable, irrelevant. And class, our, um, here in our slide, nakalagay, poor use of information. Class, there is still a culture here in the Philippines that some people do not, that do not rely on information. Some still rely on their instincts, class, or emotions. So, some people do not use the information well. Yan. So, they need to be trained. Ganyan. So, there need to be a culture. Dapat talaga sa so organization, ini-encourage sila na gumamit sila na information. Okay. So, here in the Philippines, we have a Philippine National E-Health Program. Philippine National E-Health Program. So, this um, program class, they promote the 
um, better flow of information, the better flow and management of information so that to help uh, improve our health services. Diba? So, class, syempre, pag mas maganda yung information na na-produce natin, it can improve the delivery of quality and responsive health services. Hindi lang maganda yung health services natin. Maging responsive, it is based on the needs of the people. Yan. Since yung mga, sabi, na, sabi sa research natin, sabi sa information natin, ito ang mga kailangan ng mga tao. Since yun ang information na basa natin, so they can easily respond to that need. So that's the Philippine National eHealth Program. So, it helps in the formulation of cost-effective e-health strategies, forging transparent and equitable ethical public-private um, partnership, develop of capacity and infrastructure, ensuring that the e-health beneficiaries meets quality, safety, and ethical standards. So, maganda rin class yung e-health program. Hopefully, they will fund more this national e-health program kasi napakalaga na. Class, you know, um, nakita ko ngayon sa um, pagre-report ng DOH ng COVID-19, sometimes, you know, they are under-reporting. Minsan, mas konti yung nare-report nila or minsan, delay. And so, di ba, it can affect how how we act, how decision makers will act on this um, on this information that they are receiving. So guys, so one day class, so I don't want you to be an, uh, wala masama sa pagiging ordinary yung medtech, but you know, one day I want you to be a high level decision make, maker for the health system, di ba? Malay nyo, maging district manager kayo. Malay nyo, maging regional director kayo, class. So, right now, di ba, tinuturuan ko na kayo na gumamit kayo ng information system. Ganyan. Make sure na yung binibigay na report sa inyo is based on correct and quality data so that you can decide better. So, kung mali, mali, kung mali, mali yung data na binigay sa inyo, malamang yung report na binigay sa inyo, mali. So, you, so, ang mahalaga, class, you need a team, a good team around you. Diba? So, ang wish ko sa inyo, one day, maging CEO kayo, CEO kayo, or something. Diba? Next, solutions on improving the health information information structure. So, sinabi natin mga challenges, yung mga problema. So, how can we improve on, on our health information system more? So, collaborate and conduct an assessment. So, kamusta yung health information system natin? Diba? So, assess it. Evaluate it. What are the gaps? What are the needs? Yeah. Why? Where, what are the weaker links? Yeah. Weak points. Saan nagkakamali? Ganyan. Yung mga tao ba? Yung makina ba? Kaya. Number two, agree on health information needs. So, ano ba dapat talaga yung kailangang i-collect ng mga information? Ganyan. So, dapat doon lang tayo. Kasi, class, some information system, there are duplication, ganun, redundancy, they are collecting irrelevant information. Ganyan. Next class, develop standard measurement indicators. So class, um, we need to have a standard and we need to have a basis, something your um, collectors will follow. Next, develop data in and interoperability standards. So we need a standard, a basis, something to follow so that we will produce, um, kunyari, Mama na yung mga standards. Kunyari, based on WHO standards or magbabenchmark tayo ano bang ginagawa nila sa US or sa Singapore, di ba? And next, build technical, institutional, and organizational capacity. And so, train them. Ganyan. Motivate them. Educate them. Develop the organization. Create a good culture of information use. Ganyan. Yan. Yeah, tapos na tayo, class. So, our final um, 
discussion today is mission, vision, objective statements. Isn't it class na pinapamemorize sa inyo ang mission, vision, and objective ng UB? Tama? Um, Ma'am, bakit ganun? Bakit may mission, vision, objective? Class, all, almost all organizations have mission, vision, and objectives. Class, we have this, ob ob we have this um, statements so that we are all on the same ship. Class, example, sa UP, ang isa sa mga culture dito is a fun learning environment. Since I am an instructor of UB, that is a type of an environment that I want to make. A fun learning environment. Since sabi ng UB, yun yung ano na, yun yung isa sa mga thrust niya. Yeah. So ako, since I work there, I'm on the same page. Kasi yun yung mission niya, yung vision niya. And so, isa, isa rin is we want to make an empowered professionals in the global community. Yan. So, ibig sabihin, dapat empowered rin yung teacher nyo para makaproduce ng empowered na students. Ha. Yung mga ganun. So, we will be on the same page. Yan. So, ang ibig sabihin class ng mission is, mission, why there, does your company exist? So, why do you have your mission? So, why do you have your company? Diba? So, kulas ko kayo, gagawa kayo ng ang isa sa mga activity nyo is make a mission, vision, objective for your laboratory. So, I want you to name first your laboratory. Yan. Tapos, mangarap tayo. Anong name ng laboratory nyo? And, number one, why are you making your laboratory? What is its mission? Yan. Diba? So, two, Produce accurate um, laboratory results that will that will allow doctors to decide decide better on their patients. Diba? Why why do you want to have your own laboratory? Diba? Ano ba yung mission ng laboratory? Maganda yung ganon class because it can motivate your employees. Next vision class. So, class, a good leader has a vision. What do you want in the future? Five years from now, class, what do you want from your life? Yan. Five years from now, Jelly. Yan. <laughs> Who do you want to be? Yan. In your laboratory, five years, ten years in the future, what do you want to be here? What, what um, do you want to have in your laboratory? You want your laboratory to be a world-class testing. Diba? Mga ganon. Testing site. Diba? A world class. Oh, ganun. Next objective, <laughs> actions to achieve the goals. Yeah. So what will you do so that you can achieve your goals? Yeah. Two. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Demonstrating quality from the pre-analytical to post-analytical phase. Kanya. Continuous training of our laboratory professionals. Mga ganun mga objectives. Yeah. So, class here in, in University of Baguio. So, yung vision niya, sabi niya, yung vision niya, so what they want in the future is to commit to provide. So, they want to be, con they want to pursue perfection. That's their vision, class. Perfection, di ba? Ngayon naman ako kay Julia. Sabi, pursuit, perfection. And in the pursuit of perfection, di ba? Ang ganda. Actually, ang ganda na. University of Baguio is committed to provide balanced quality education. So, that's what UB wants to be in from in the present up to the future. Yan, mission. So, what is the reason that they have UB to educate the Filipino professionals in the global community. Yan. Ganda, ganda. And class, the objectives. So, yan, aims to produce, exemplify a higher standard of learning, manifest the mastery of irrelevant skills. Yan. So, ganyan. Your evaluation class, I have a video about mission, vision, objective kung sobrang bigyan kayo sa discussion ko. But this is just a summary. So, I have, I, I gave a table in the module. I gave a video. So, you can rely on that. So, this is our evaluation. So, as of now, walang quiz sa module 1. But, ito yung gagawin nyo. So, yung mga tanong ko na lang, isisave ko na lang sa exam natin. Okay? So, evaluation for online learners, you have to submit this in our Google Classroom. For offline learners, 
kailangan nilang i-compile tapos isesend nila it sa akin eventually through LBC, JLS, and JNT. So, ito yung mga tanong nyo, class. No, number one, how important is proper collection of health information during this time of COVID-19 pandemic? Class, make your discussion rich. Please, gawin nyo namang pang college level um, explanation. Ha, gandahin nyo. Gano'n kahalaga ang magandang pag-collectan ng quality data, health information, quality health information during this time of COVID-19 pandemic. Number two, among the subsystem, which one is relevant? So, pipili kayo sa anim, in collecting and monitoring COVID-19 active cases, recoveries, and deaths. So, why? Bakit yun ang napili yung subsystem? And number three, fill in the table. So, pag irrelevant yung information gathered, how does this affect the patient? How does this affect the health workers? If poor ang data na nakukulik, how does this affect? Ano yung impact nitong mga to? Poor use of information, lack of timely reporting. Pwede at some point, syempre, may, mag, pwede magka, may magkakapareho kayong sagot. Pero, di ba, mag-research kayo. Um, ibahin nyo naman yung mga sagot nyo. Ganun. This is individual work. Next time tayo mag-group work. And number four, make a name for your future laboratory. Craft a vision, mission, and objective statement. Class, ang maganda dito sa subject natin in health information system, it's not, it's not training you only, it's not only training you only to become a medical laboratory scientist. But we are training you to be leaders of an organization. Yeah. You want you to be um, business owners. You want you to be um, administrator. So let's think big. Huh? So craft a vision mission statement. Yeah. So class, thank you for listening. Do you have any questions? So don't don't hesitate hesitate to message me if you have any questions. Thank you for listening. I'll see you again.